Uh, what's up? What's up? Well, Justin, obviously it's been a long time since we saw you up here at a media day. So how has the layoff been? Anything, any specific reason you, for this long gap between fights? Yeah, I had um, a couple of major surgeries last year that I had to attend to. Couldn't even get through a, a training session, you know. So, um, yeah, last year I got some surgery on my leg and um, had to spend the remainder of the year doing rehab. It was a blessing in disguise, you know. I, um, I got another son now and I uh, got to spend time with my baby and then I got to coach my younger brother, which was an experience in that. So, now it's been good. Were, the, were these injuries that had been lingering for a long time or were they just freak injuries that happened all at once? No, it was, it was, it was one of those wear and tear ones. And then at the end, at, it was just at the end of it, you know, it finally gave way kind of thing. So now I'm, I'm happy I got it done. It was still early in my career kind of thing. So for the longevity of my career, I had to do the, the smart thing. And well, you're coming back to a massive pay-per-view here in Perth, you're part of the world. So what are the emotions now that, you know, camp's out of the way, you just got, now you just have to fight in front of, in your home country? Yeah, man, that's just, just uh, blessed, you know. Um, my uh, specialist said that I wouldn't be ready till a bit later this year. And then I heard wind that there was going to be a card in Perth, so I really knuckled down on the rehab to get in, into the right shape for this fight. You know, because I, I wanted my sons to come and watch me fight because it's nice and close to home. Now I get to have my family here to watch, man. It's the, the best thing. Did you feel there was unfinished business in Australia given how when you, the yeah. last time you fought here? 100%. This was redemption, man. It's something I wanted to chase. Coming back and getting this uh, W in front of my family. The last time they had to watch me lose, this time they're going to watch me win. And you're fa facing Parker Porter, a unique career where he's actually been fighting longer than you, but you've been in the UFC longer than him. So what do you make of him as an opponent? Yeah, you know, I know he's a game opponent. Wants to come come forward and bring the action. You know, he's he's like a bull type fighter, and so am I. So, I think this is why they put put us on the main card. You know, especially myself being the exciting fighter I am. You know, it's fireworks or nothing. The final question for me: What can fans expect from your brother? Because uh, he's supposed to make his UFC debut at some point too. Yeah, yeah, man. If you get him on the mic, you'll see why they. they you know, he's. He talks the talk, but he produces the KOs. He's a skillful fighter, and yeah, I can't wait. How you going, Justin? Haven't seen you since high school. I hope you've been well. Yeah, I'm good, Russ. Um, what made you move from Auckland to Australia to like start training and stuff, or did you just kind of move with your family anyway and then started training in Australia? No, I finished school, and then I, I got some opportunities to play rugby here. But my... Um, I was raised in Brisbane anyways before that. Both my younger brothers are born in Logan. Shout out to Logan City. And um, yeah, from then on, I, I've lived here. And um, with your younger brother coming in and all the experience you've had, how much kind of do you feel any pressure with um, leading the way and how you've coached him? Or is it all just like do your best sort of thing? No, I think, man, he's, he's my younger brother, so he's... He's followed suit since we were born kind of thing, you know. I, I've been the one to go in, put my feet in the water, and then he gets to see, you know, he learns off my experiences. But this is, you know, that's that's what the big brother's for, you know. They, they, they're there to test the waters, and then you get to learn off them like I learn off my older brother. Cool. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, brother. And uh, Justin, uh, with Junior being hurt and not on the card, is it easier or harder to get your head in a fight? Honestly, uh I wouldn't know. Like, um, it's been a while since we fought on the same card, but back when we were fighting locally, you know, we were, it was just it was just something normal, you know. Um, it's been years and years of fighting together, where whether it's at the the park at, at primary school, or at church when we're a bit older, man, same thing. You're fighting at church? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just finally, how's this fight gonna go? Man, I think you're going to see my maturity in, 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 um, in my striking. You know, I'm going to mix it up a bit. But at the same time, man, if, if the crowd needs some screaming, bro, I'll, I'll bring that. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. A few years ago, you said that um, like you struggled most with the publicity around being a UFC fighter. I was just wondering, how have you found it coming back now? Like, is it better or still the same? No, I'm a bit better now, you know, 
it comes with age and, and everything and, and maturity. At first, I was kind of tossed into the limelight kind of thing. You know, I went from fighting at a pub to fighting in front of 50-something thousand people. So for anyone, you know, that kind of shock would, would shock someone. But now I've had a few more fights under my belt and a few more trolls under the belt. Man, it's, it's a bit easier. How do you see the main event playing out between Volkanovski and Islam? Honestly, I think um, I think Volk will get the win, and I think people are going to be very shocked. You know, he's the most underrated fighter, maybe in history. I don't know how people doubt someone like him that it's proved time and time again how how much of a versatile fighter and how much of a tough person he is. I've trained with him, man, and his uh, his big, biggest asset is his arrogance to not letting um, you know everyone. Give in, you know, he's just, man, he's a hard trainer. He's just a hard, tough dude, bro. Given he's the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, why do you think people are constantly underestimating him still? I think people just ride off that Khabib, you know, that mystical Khabib thing. And, oh, this guy's another one of those Khabib mystical things. But, man, if you look at the last five opponents, each guy has fought, man. How can you not deny Volk being the, the best fighter on the planet? Easy. Appreciate it, guys.